Hi, I'll show you how to use the VizEasy procedural outlets and switches for 3DS MaxScript Pro version. In the Create panel, we select VizEasy Switches. Now we can add the first socket. To do this, click somewhere on the wall. We have inserted a single socket. We can set the number of sockets in the frame from 1 to 5. In this case, let's assume that we want to make a frame with three sockets. We have three different frame designs to choose from. We can place the socket vertically or horizontally, we can also flip it around the pivot point. In this case we want to have a horizontal frame with three sockets inside, we will choose design number two. Then we can adjust the height of the socket above the floor. We have three presets prepared, 20 cm, 90 cm and 135. We can also enter the height we want. Then we click distance to the floor. The socket will set to the desired height above the floor. In this case let's set it to 30 cm. We will want to connect this lamp to this socket, so we will place the socket close to the lamp. Ok, let's make a blank panel first on the left, and put plug sockets in the other two. As we can see, inside the plug sockets we see the surface of the wall. To solve this problem, click Create Hole. A hole in the wall will be added automatically. Now when we move the socket, the hole moves with it. We will add a plug to one of the sockets to connect a floor lamp to it. By default, the plug option is set to none. We can choose from two types of plugs. Let's select the first plug type. Now let's add a cable to the plug and then connect it to the lamp. Let's set the cable length, in this case 150 cm, and the number of nodes thanks to which we will be able to control the cable layout, let's set 6. Then click Create Cable, a cable will be added to the plug. Next, click Put Down, so that the cable falls to the floor. Next, using knots we set the cable layout. By moving and rotating the knots we set the cable, so that it is connected to one of the lamp legs. Let's assume that this cable arrangement is OK for us. We can still change the position of the socket, the cable will follow the socket. We already have the socket and cable made, now let's focus on the colors. First, let's choose the color of the cable. We can choose the same color as the frame or socket, white, black or gray. We can also choose from several braided cables. Now let's set the colors of the sockets. We can choose different colors for the frame and elements inside. We have several ready-made colors defined, including aluminum, gold or copper. In this case we will set the frame to gold and the color inside to white. Ok, we already have the socket for connecting the floor lamp ready. Now let's put in another socket, this time a 5-way socket, placed vertically. Let's set the distance to the floor to 135 cm. This time we choose design number 3. As the first socket we will select a single switch, we use the slider or click the checkbox to set it to the on position. In the next one we will make a double switch, we will leave one switch on and the other off. In the next socket we make three switches, we set two of the switches to the on position. In the fourth socket we set the rotary dimmer. 
We can also use the slider to turn the knob or click the checkbox to set it to the on position. In the last one, we place the panel to control the room temperature. In this element we can turn on and off the display. Select the display time from several available presets or set your own. Also a useful script feature is the glue option. Let's copy the existing sockets by holding shift and dragging. Let's rotate 90 degrees and set them against the wall on the left. Click the glue button. The socket will be precisely positioned on the wall surface. We've just seen all the features available in the Pro version. Ready to truly elevate your 3DS Max workflow? Visit VizEasy.pro to learn more about VizEasy procedural outlets and switches. Get the Pro version and revolutionize your projects today. Or, download the free light version to see it in action.